Hey, how's it going? This is Brett McKay from theartofmanliness.com, and we are back with another edition of Man to Man, where I take questions from Art of Manliness readers like you and give my friendly advice, man to man. And this week's edition of Man to Man is um, in response to two emails I received this week from two different young men who were asking pretty much the exact same question. Uh, both of them had written that they're just right out of high school, they're starting uh, you know, young adulthood, but they still feel like boys. They don't feel like men. And the reason why they didn't feel like men were very similar. Uh, one of them complained that he couldn't grow facial hair and he couldn't get a beard and that made him feel very boyish and childish and didn't make him feel like he could be, be a man because you know, he couldn't grow a beard. Uh, the other young man uh, said that you know he had a very scrawny physique and he didn't have big muscles, um, so it made him feel less manly and it made him feel like a little boy. Um, and here's my response to these uh, young men. I know during that time you're kind of very self-conscious about your you know, your body image and your image as you project as a man. But here's the deal. Bottom line is manliness isn't about outward appearances. Manliness is uh, about uh, you know your inner inner man. Uh, manliness is a frame of mind. It's a mindset. Because here's the deal. There's a lot of men out there who have awesome beards, who have big giant muscles but they don't feel like men either. They're having that kind of struggle of trying to figure out what it means to be a man and you know, what it means to be a, a mature masculine man. Um, so here are my, here's my, kind of my suggestions for these two young men out there who are feeling uh, like they're not men yet, not, they're feeling less than manly. The first one, that the first suggestion I have is, as a man, you need to live by a code. That's one thing I've, I've found that a mature man has. He has a code or a set of core values that he lives by. Uh, and he doesn't compromise on them, um, even if it's you know he doesn't compromise, even if it'd be easy to you know look the other way and and not follow his core values. Um, we've written about this before, uh, establishing core values for yourself. Your core values are personal to you, but they're things that you're going to live by no matter what. Uh, your core value could be you know live a life of honor and, and integrity. It could be your core value could be you know put family first. Your core value could be, you know, be self-sufficient no matter what. And once you establish these core values, you're going to do everything you can to live by it, uh, even if it's hard. Because for me, I know when I started doing that, I had that list of values that I was going to live by as an, as a man, and I started you know, living that, even if it, even if it was just really hard to do, it wasn't the easiest thing to do. When you when you ha face that crucible and you pass through it, you feel like an adult. You feel like you you, you feel like a man when you do that. So that's my first suggestion. This weekend, if you haven't, if you have, if you don't have this, sit down uh, with your journal, and for a few hours maybe, and think about what are your core values that you're going to live by. Uh, we've written a blog post about this previously. I'm going to link to it in the post, um, so you can visit that and kind of figure out how to establish your five core values that you're going to live by as a man. So that's the first one: living, um, living, establishing your code as a man, your five core values. The second suggestion I have is, uh, is going through a rite of passage, right? We've written about this a lot too on The Art of Manliness, that one of the things that a lot of young men are struggling with and why they're having this hard time transitioning from boyhood to manhood is we no longer have rites of passage really in our modern Western world. We've gotten rid of them. Um, we've used to, you know, if you go back thousands of years, uh, tribes, cultures that had rites of passage where they've taken that young boys go through and after they go through it they're seen as men in the community and it's a way for them to think of themselves and see themselves as man men now um, but we don't we no longer no longer have those um, but uh, there's opportunities for you to have a rite of passage even in our modern modern day um, if you're a religious guy I know there's a lot of church groups out there that have, um, weekend retreats for men where they get together and they go through some type of rite of passage that's uh, in line with their you know, religious beliefs. Um, so look that up. If you're not a religious guy, there's lots of men's organizations out there that are popping up across the country um, where their sole purpose is to uh, provide a rite of passage for uh, men out there because it's something that a lot of men are struggling with. Um, some that come to mind, uh, Wayne Levine, who's written on The Art of Manless before, he has a men's group out in California where he has uh, weekend retreats where he provides like a rite of passage experience for, for men. Um, there's another uh, New Warriors group out there 
it's a men's group where they have a rite of passage weekend you can do. And then there's some just traditional fraternal organizations that you could belong to that provide a ritual where uh, it, it can be a rite of passage for men. Uh, Freemasonry is one that's been around for hundreds of years. If you are a Catholic man, there's the Knights of Columbus, other non-denominational, non-religion organizations out there, there's like the Knights of Pythias. Uh, there's lots of uh, traditional kind of historical men's group that provide rites of passage. And what this rite of passage is going to do, it's going to be a ceremony that you go through. It'll impart to you uh, wisdom and knowledge uh, that, on what it means to be a man. And then when you go through it and you're done, it, it's going to provide a ritual and a frame of mind for you to start seeing yourself as a man now. Um, so that's the suggestion I have. Um, establish some core values for yourself and start living by them, living by them no matter what. And then go through a rite of passage because I, I, I bet dimes to donuts you did not have that experience um, as a young boy or as a young man. Um, and so it's now it's your responsibility. I, I challenge you to seek that out for yourself, that rite of passage. So uh, we've written about it on, this, on the site. I'm going to provide some links that you can get more information about rites of passage and how to establish one and create one for yourself or how to find one. And then um, just Google men's group rite of passage and you're going to find lots of information out there about groups that provide rites of passage for men. So that's my advice to these two young men. And I'm going to turn the time over to you guys, the Art of Manliness readers. What's your advice what, to these young guys that are feeling less than manly? Um, what can they do to feel more like a man and less like a boy uh, and make that transition from boyhood to manhood in their mind? Um, Please leave your comments below. Remember to keep them um, keep them uh, uplifting and edifying because we want this to be a positive experience for these guys. Uh, we want this to be helpful as well. And if you have any questions that you'd like answered on Man to Man, you can email me at brett at artofmanliness.com or use the contact page on our website. And it can be about anything. It can be about really serious stuff and you know how can I feel more manly, or it can be about stuff like how to you know get a what are some things I can do to get a better shave? Uh, what can I do to you know dress better or whatever? Whatever you want, uh, and I'll try to give my uh, bitter friendly advice to it. So that's it for this edition of Man to Man. Um, this is Brett McKay from The Art of Manliness telling you to stay manly. Mm -hmm.